Yeah, go ahead. We have a clearance for the drop sound. We are cleared to drop. The drop sound technician is the only person routinely allowed to move around when turbulence is expected. Flight rules say he must wear a helmet while loading up each set of four. Each sound is released at the exact coordinates specified by the science team. A valve opens and the partial vacuum sucks the drop sonde out of hyper and away from the plane. In super slow motion, you can see the parachute deploy. The drop sonde tube is situated in the cramped baggage compartment they'd worked on during the modification phase. Its thick transparent cover and the special brace are designed to protect Hyper's interior and thin skin against atmospheric pressure. From this altitude, each sonde takes about 12 minutes to fall to Earth, transmitting pressure, temperature, and wind speed data back to Hyper all the way. During IOP-10, Hyper would deploy 31 sondes. In close to real time, their data was being made available to workstations on the plane and to researchers on the ground in Bishop and in Boulder. As far as I know, we have five good drops so far. Okay. 